Today's video is going to be about DIYs. We're gonna start with cookies, then we're gonna take a break because it's gonna take a while for these cookies to be ready. We're gonna do something about fashion, something about home decor. The idea I had was to make Christmas cookies, but inspired by the one from Edward Scissorhand because I recently rewatched the movie and it usually plays in Italy during Christmas time. So I feel like to me, those will connect to Christmas really well. I haven't seen anyone on YouTube try to make these, so I thought it could be a fun little thing. We're gonna need one cup of butter, three cups of flour, half a cup of granulated sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of milk, one beaten egg, some icing sugar, and then blue food coloring and some almond flavoring. I'm gonna put this in here so it's gonna have no patches. I think that's what it's for. And then they say to pour the baking powder. So I'm gonna add it to it. So this is done, we can put it aside. I'm kind of following a recipe for this, for the first part at least, and they tell you to take another mixing bowl. So we're gonna mix the butter in there. So I'm pouring that. Then we're gonna mix the sugar. Woo! We're gonna add the milk, the egg, the almond extract. Whoops! This wasn't in the recipe, so I'm just pouring it. Okay, now that we have this, we're gonna mix it with the electric mixer. Woo! I think this is good enough, but now we have to combine these two together. Now that we have the paste, we're gonna divide it into two and we're gonna wrap it in these. We're gonna wrap it up. Boom. Now we have these two and we're gonna have to put them in the fridge for two hours. Now that we have to wait so long, I plan the other two DIYs. So let's get moving into another room. Welcome to my living room. Now, I'm gonna do a little DIY on my jeans. Basically, last week I bought a pair of jeans from ASOS, but for some reason I got them way too big, but I still like how they look like, so I'm gonna remove these ribbons and apply them to a jeans that actually fit, then I'm gonna distress these and sell them, but that's another thing. So in case you also like this kind of DIY, you can get some ribbon, velvet ribbon. And then I'm also thinking that I could attach some jingles and some bells, I don't know. We'll see later, but for now we're gonna begin with these. So in my case, the first step is to cut off the ribbons from here. You wouldn't have to do these necessarily. First one, detached. I have successfully removed everything except that one because I thought it looked cute. I distressed this a bit. And now we can move on into this pair, which is the one that I want to be embellished. Here is all the ribbons I'm gonna attach. I have my needle and thread, and we're gonna get going. A lot of you have asked me in the past how you do it, but literally the way I do it is to put the thread through. I make a knot, a double knot at the end, and then I go, up and down and then I secure it and that's it. Woo! And the first one is done. It's looking pretty. Now I have many more to go. It's about 30 minutes later and I'm done. I've completed the jeans, which I actually really like because in the other ones, I felt like there were a bit too many. And also I added these bells in some of them, which I think is a nice touch. And also in the back, I got them in the pockets. But now let's move on to the next DIY. Let's go. Are you not coming, Pulitan? This is my chill room. I'm over here and basically right now on top of the fireplace it's just like that but I got this beautiful church so I want to make 
a little village that I'm gonna place on top. Now let me set the camera. Oop. All right, so these are all going to be decorative pieces, so I'm gonna move them aside. The real DIY in here is these paper houses. So all I wanna do is to just cut them up, glue them together, and make a little village. So I downloaded these from the internet. I'm gonna link you to it so you can get the exact same ones just in case you wanted them. But now we're gonna cut them up. The paper I'm using is not great for this. It's just like really thin paper. If you had thicker paper, that would probably be much easier for you, but now we get the glue. This is so delicate. I feel like I'm gonna destroy it. I've actually just realized that I bought this in order to cut out the windows, so I should have done it before, but I'm gonna try it. Ooh. Oh my God. No, that's a terrible idea. Now I have to commit. Okay, this is much better than scissors. I'm just gonna use this tool. So much better, look at that. Perfection. Now that all the houses are ready, I'm gonna place everything nicely. I got some little trees, so I can put these around. I'm gonna put the mushrooms. Let's turn off the lights and let's go check it out. It's been two hours for me and we're back in the kitchen as you can tell. I don't really have many stamps for the cookies and the Tim Burton ones are morphed in a way, but like even just the heart, that is pretty simple. I don't have it, but we'll get it out of these. I'm gonna take these, cause I'm not sure where else to put the dough. Then I'm gonna use a rolling pin, and we're gonna use this sugar to sprinkle it down here, so it won't attach instead of flour. We're gonna flatten it now with the rolling pin, and it's sticking, great. <laughs> take all the sugar. <laughs> bathing it in sugar. Okay, I think that's that's good beginning. No, no, I finished the paper. This little one will do. Can I move this, put it there? How about three people? Yeah. Now we're gonna take this, which is going to be the heart. I've just now realized that I forgot the blue step. I thought it would look cool because I saw a picture online if the cookies were blue, but I guess not. I got some tools. We're gonna make these look exactly like the Tim Burton one. And by exactly, you know, I mean kind of like. I'm gonna start by fixing the stars. Now into the people. They basically have long arms and long legs instead. Okay, so the heart is more pointy at the end. Now the dog though, it has the ears, done. Then it has the mouth, done. And then it just has the legs. But here's what I got and they're not Perfect, but they are not terrible, so we're gonna put them in the oven. So here I have the final result. I don't think they are perfect, but overall I'm really happy. I think they look cool and they resemble the original ones. I do wish they were blue though, but other than that, I'm happy with them. But now we're gonna have to taste them. Mmm, so sugary, they're really good. I'm gonna put these in the oven now and I will see you next week. Bye! Thanks for